Uh, let's in fact uh, get a technical perspective on the markets. Uh, joining, joining us on the phone line, Amar Singh. He's the head advisory at uh, Angel Broking. Afternoon, Amar. How are you reading the action in markets? Uh, six straight day of uh, gains, uh, fresh 2016 high uh, for the markets. Uh, do you think it's uh, time for some profit booking or are we heading higher? Yeah, very, very good afternoon. Actually, uh, the sort of run-up that we witnessed uh, in our market, there is definitely uh, some opportunity of profit booking. Uh, because uh, uh, the Brexit issue and the way the market uh, on 24th uh, tanked and from there the rally, it rallied above uh, these levels and there's been a significant uh, rally. So yes, uh, uh, we would uh, recommend some profit booking to be uh, to take this because we could also witness uh, going forward some increased volatility. But overall, the trend uptrend remains intact. Okay, uh, fair, uh, fair point there, uh, Mr. Singh. Uh, just a little bit in terms of your take on the, t the top gainers that we've seen, the kind of movements we're looking at. Uh, Deep was just, of course, talking about what was happening at BHEL. We've also seen the, the way ONGC is doing. Uh, really, how are you reading uh, these uh, specifics at this stage? Yeah, overall, what we are witnessing is we are witnessing some specific stock movements. Uh, we're witnessing uh, upside, as you said, in BHEL. We witnessed uh, uh, some uh, excellent upside in the uh, PSU banks. So, and also CESC, we, uh, we are witnessing a good upside, there's a breakout. So what we are witnessing in certain stocks, there have been a consolidation and there has been a breakout uh, from the consolidation. So uh, so the uptrend, as I said, remains intact. Yes, we would witness uh, volatility also going forward. And at the same time, those who are in deep profits, they should also look at at least booking partial profits at the current levels, yeah. Amar, come in on uh, something like a Yes Bank, uh, up by about 54% uh, uh, for this year. Uh, uh, clearly one of the top uh, gainers as far as the Nifty is concerned uh, as well. Uh, any view on a Yes Bank? Uh, what are the levels that you're watching out for this one? See, Yes Bank has been a spectacular performer from almost, uh, if you look at it from uh, 700, 750 levels, it's currently trading around uh, uh, 1120. So uh, there is uh, this uh, strength. Uh, continuing in the yes bank, but yes, now we could, as I said, there would be profit booking in the markets because those who had entered at lower levels, they would look at uh, booking uh, profits. And today we are seeing some uh, sort of profit booking coming in in yes bank. Uh, from uh, from its high, it's come down slightly from almost 1140. It's currently trading around 1120. So that's a small uh, small dip. But uh, uh, yes, uh, I would suggest that uh, uh, there should be some profit booking now in yes bank as well. So we could see some correction in prices towards uh, the levels of, if you look at 1,095, uh, 1,100 levels in the short term. Okay, so that, of course, is uh, how you're looking at opportunities when it comes to Yes Bank. But I just want to stick to the conversation within the banking space there. Uh, really, what is your take, given what we're looking at within the PSU space as well as the private uh, uh, banks? Where are your preferences? What are your thoughts going forward? And also, the, in terms of this whole conversation that's really taken place in terms of where the banking sector uh, is going and also the opportunities there? Yeah, as far as the uh, banking sector, uh, what we are witnessing is we uh, definitely are seeing another uh, uh, leg of rally in the public sector banks. So uh, we would be recommending uh, buying Indian Bank. Uh, it, uh, it actually has uh, uh, rallied significantly and it was in consolidation for the last uh, 10 days and there has been a breakout. And currently it's trading around 148, uh, 149 levels. So any pullback towards... 145, 146 could be a good level to buy uh, Indian Bank with stop loss of 139.40, targeting close to 158 levels. As uh, now far as the other bank is concerned in the private uh, space, we uh, we uh, we look at IDBI Bank. IDBI Bank, uh, again, uh, it's uh, breached its uh, 21st April high of 74. It's trading above that level. So uh, clearly shows that there is uh, some buying interest and opportunity in these banks as well. So any dip towards 72, 72, 50 could be used as a buying opportunity with a stop loss below 70 at 69.85, targeting 77, 78 levels for uh, MyDBI Bank. Yeah. All right, uh, Mr. Amar Singh there uh, joining us. Uh advisory angel broking thank you very much for joining us right here on the show with that it is a wrap on this edition of lunch money but don't go anywhere the supreme court verdict uh, on the delhi diesel ban expected any moment now we'll be back with more coverage on that